Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic food review just for you. I'm in the super sunny, cloudless town of Richmond Hill, Ontario at this fresh burger because you guys chose on my last poll. We had a whole bunch of suggestions and we had over 4,000 people vote what you guys wanted to see me eat next. And it turns out it was from Jonathan B. Thank you very much, Jonathan, for making that request. Uh, the Prime Burger Fries and Drink. So we're gonna zip in there and get this food, come back here and eat it with you. Are you guys ready? Let's go. I'd like to try the Prime Burger 6 ounce. Combo? Yes, please. Right. Okay, so you put burger comes with cheese, lettuce, tomato, and fresh burger sauce. Is that okay? Sounds good. Okay, so you put Thank you. Thank you. Number 56. Awesome. Thank you. Great number. All right, I'll be fucking free. All right. Six, all right. Do you need ketchup? Uh, no thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Woo hoo! We are back in the car, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get out the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating. All right, so my first impression of this place, uh, I believe it's just an Ontario, Canada chain, and there's only six that I could find uh, on Google Maps or whatever. And uh, so when I walked in there, very friendly staff, uh, it kind of reminded me of a cross between five guys and in and out the way they were doing their thing and the fact that they have a very limited menu i actually grabbed uh this <laughs> this is their whole menu like right there i believe check that out the fries look great oh look at the size of this fries they do, they don't chimp out on the fries so the number one combo three is twelve dollars and 65 cents you get a choice of canned pop a huge french fries and uh the 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 uh the burger itself let me put that down for a second and look at that check it out we've got the infamous grease spot on there which means it's going to be good oh it's leaching through the bottom i'm going to put that on the floor i don't want it on my seat put a napkin out here like that so the fries can kind of spill onto them we'll get this burger out of here and again they kind of do it the same as uh, maybe maybe not exactly the same. I guess in and out does it this way, right? With the little half pack thing kind of thing. But there's usually, they jam it in such a way. It's, it's just in and out is in and out. Let me take out this burger. Oh boy. But I like onions. So they use red onions. So it's going to be really strong, powerful. That's their special sauce. Their burgers look like they're fresh made every day type patty. That's a pretty big patty. Ooh la la. It's falling apart. Let's do their fry quickly. Mm-hmm. Almost golden brown. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mmm. And they're making them fresh right there on the spot. I'm impressed so far. Let's get into this burger. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what you can do with that? You can scratch it. You can sniff it. The rest is mine. Oh, prime beef burger. Thanks, Jonathan, for requesting this, and thanks to the 4,000 people who jumped on that vote and got me to come here. Thanks, guys. Mm. Nice and salty. Cheesy. I'm so glad I put the onions on it, because I love onions on a burger. Oh, that's beautiful, people. It's like you'd make it home. Maybe even better. Mm. This is a face 
That is not lying to you. I am not over exaggerating the moans and the noises that are coming from within. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Mm. I haven't had a burger like that in a while. It definitely has the in and out flair to it, but it's twice as big as an in and out burger um, patty because I'm pretty sure the in and out burger patties are really small. Mm. I'm pretty sure if I took the actual patty out, it would start to fall apart. It just seems really fragile. It's not like put together so packed, compact. See, I put all my napkins here. That was a bad idea. I need one. Come on. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. If you love pickles, then I, de I definitely suggest you add pickles to that. Oh, because that would be that extra bonus for the people that love pickles. And again, I don't mind pickles on certain things. But when I want a burger for the very first time at a restaurant like this, I need to have it with no pickles first. If I come back again, I'll do it with pickles. I promise. Mm. One of my favorite root beers of all time, too. A&W. That is, oh my gosh, dudes. Dudettes. What a perfect Monday lunchtime meal. There's definitely way too many fries for a normal human being. You can also double up on this patty. I'm not sure exactly how much more money it is for the extra patty. And of course the poutine. I like to come back one time and do their poutine and something else on the menu. I thought they have a whole lot of choices, but keep it simple, stupid. Kiss. You keep it simple, not a whole lot of complication. You go, you know, just go to some of those restaurants and they got like eight pages of stuff. The, the poor people that have to cook that. I gotta memorize all the different ways to cook it. I was thinking I was gonna come here, eat half the burger, wrap it up, take it home. Maybe eat the rest of it tomorrow for lunch. Uh-uh-uh. I'm eating it now. <laughs> if you live in the Toronto area, you gotta give it a shot, man. It is really good. I like to compare this to Five Guys. Price, quality, and this is their prime burger too. They also have like a regular burger. Maybe I'll have to come back and do their regular burger, but this is the prime and it's it's blowing my mind right now. If you've been to a, a fresh burger, please agree with me or disagree with me in the comment section below. If you're from Toronto, you've been to a fresh burger, let me know if I'm right. I am right, come on. <laughs> it's the right amount of seasoning which is probably just salt. That's all they probably put on that. Prime beef and salt. That's all you need. And their sauce is pretty good. I can't really pinpoint what it is, but it's a secret sauce. It's kind of like the whole Thousand Island dressing, right? It's got that same look to it. But you can see the beef breaking apart. That's what I was kind of talking about before. And again, I put everything on it. If you like pickles, add that. And then just make sure you add those two things. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can tell how much I am loving this burger, fresh burger, way to go on making such an amazing burger. I'm glad I did the, your prime first because that's a brilliant, brilliant burger. Uh, and because you guys made this, because Jonathan requested it, I'm going to have to give you guys a one o'clock in the morning shout out bite just for you. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Uh, excuse me. That's how good it is. Mmm. Looks like maybe two more quick bites. Mm-hmm. 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 Last bite, people. Here we go. <laughs> well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two points for Ken. Did it go in? Yes, it did. All right, guys. On my rating scale, I'm going to have to give Fresh Burgers Prime Beef Burger 
fries and drink a go out and get it now plus. It's been a while since I've given out a plus, but fresh burger, you deserve it. The flavor and textures of that beef patty with the cheese and all the right condiments and that bun made it absolutely fantastic. I'd like to thank Jonathan once again for making that suggestion. You rock. All right, guys, if you love these videos and you don't want to miss the next one, please hit that subscribe button. It sits right around here. Click the notification bell. But if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you on request, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Kendomic food review. Kendomic out. Boop. All right. So we're going to get in there and do this. I think I'm in Richmond Hill. I am in the super sunny town. It is a town, isn't it? I'm in the super sunny. Is it? So we're going to zip in there. Come back hit. Come on, connect. You can do it. You can do it. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, never mind. I'm not going to do that. Check that out. So the burger is in the wrong hand. That's the problem. Forward. Forward. Fresh burger. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two points for Ken. Did it go in? Nope. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two points for Ken. Did it go in? No, it went behind it. It was a perf... Mm. Oh my, uh, nope. <laughs> Get it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.